Hello, if you're looking for a home planetarium, I've got two here you might want to consider and you've probably come across them already. One is the original Sega Toys home planetarium and the second is the newer Sega Toys Flux. I've previously reviewed both and I thought you might like to know what the main differences are. So before we get into the nitty gritty of the differences when in use, let's first take a look at the packaging. The original Sega Toys packaging was fairly basic, it just had the plastic protection and then once you took out the planetarium you'd probably just throw away the packaging. The new Flux is a much better packaging design and actually it's something that you could store the Flux in afterwards and it looks like a really nice gift box, it looks a lot more premium than the original. The contents of the packages are pretty similar for both, you get the planetarium, you get a manual and star map and you get a couple of projection discs. The main difference between the two comes in the form of the power supply. The new Flux uses a USB power supply which makes it much easier to plug into things so you don't actually have to plug it into a power socket, you could plug it into a power bank so you might want to use this outside rather than keeping it indoors. In terms of look and feel, the Flux has a nice matte finish now. The previous original home star had a very plastic shiny finish and it looked a little bit cheaper than the price tag might suggest. The controls are the same on both and both have lit controls to tell you what you've selected. Unfortunately neither of them have the text lit so in the dark you can't always see what the options are and you need a little torch to see what it is you want to turn on and off. They both use the top loading mechanism and they can both take the same disc. So if you already have a Homestar collection of discs, they will work in the Flux. So let's see how the two compare. On the left, I've got the original. On the right, I've got the newer Flux. They're actually both on at the moment. And if you can just see, there we go. So you can see that the Flux is projected on the wall. You can just about see it. The original though, I can't see anything if I turn off the flux. I can't really see anything on the wall from the original. So the flux is looking like it has a more powerful projector. Let's lower the lights a little. Alexa, set study to 50%. So now I can, I can really see the flux. That's really much, much clearer. The original though, the original still can't see anything. Let's turn the flux off again. No, still not really seeing much. Alexa, turn off the study lights. So now the original is visible. I'm going to power up the flux. Now look at that, that is much better, much clearer. It's, uh, they're, both, they're both very good, but there's a, a big improvement in this newer version. Everything looks much crisper. It's uh, almost like going from standard definition to hive definition. Let's if I move that one over a bit. Let's just separate them out a bit more. There you go. You can see they've both got the same, they've both got the same star mapping, but uh, the newer Flux, perhaps because it's, it's doing a, a better job of keeping it more condensed, it's a lot more spread out on the original compared to the Flux. Let me just show you slightly higher up. Certainly for brightness, this is, maybe this needs to be further back. Let's see if we can get it further back and get it a comparable distance. There we go. So I've had to put the, there's the Flux. You can see it's a little bit further back, but now it's pretty much overlapping. If I just turn the flux off, you'll see what I mean by that. So there's the original, I'll turn the flux on, and it's overlapping, but it's so much brighter. Both are actually very quiet. Sat here, I've got them both on. And there's, I wouldn't say there's a noticeable difference. I'm gonna shove the microphone next to them. Let me know what you think below, which one sounds louder. First up, the flux.
really nothing in it. They could both be on, well they are both on at the same time, and I'm not noticing one louder than the other. There's just uh, a whisper of a hum as the motors rotate the star fields around. One thing I did notice while filming this is that while running both, the original Homestar seemed to get quite a bit warmer than the Flux. I'm not quite sure why that was. I don't know if it's using a different bulb, a less efficient bulb that's given off more heat, but that's something to bear in mind that the Flux is overall, it's newer, of course it's going to be better, and that will be the one I recommend, but there is nothing wrong with the original Homestar. If you can pick that up secondhand or at a lower price, you'll just get much more satisfaction out of the newer flux it's a brighter bulb it's a clearer image and it's a just a better package all round i hope you found this quick comparison useful let me know in the comments below which one do you think you would go for if you were picking one if you had to spend a little bit more would you go for the flux over the original if you haven't already please click subscribe and join my tech tribe and if you're interested in my latest review click here and i'll see you on the next video